Vista Score District Papa. Welcome to Discovery Charter School's annual STEAM Night. I'm Neil McGaffey, the principal. I'm Nestor Espinosa, associate principal here at Discovery. We would like to thank UCSD and Dr. Appel for this opportunity to share with you all the wonderful experiences our students enjoy in the areas of art, music, robotics engineering, and physical education. We are a 21st century STEAM and dual immersion kinder through eighth grade school located in the Chula Vista Elementary School District. Our innovative teachers work hard to integrate science, technology, engineering, arts, and math in everything they do. Engineering efforts go above the traditional classroom setting where students engage in real life engineering challenges in our state of the art engineering lab. They are also rotated through a highly regarded fine arts program run by credentialed teachers. Teachers fuse together the NGSS and art standards to create artistic opportunities for our students. Our music programs aims to expand the artistic and cultural repertoire of our students. Each student gets music, art, engineering, and robotics along with physical education. We believe that each child is of great individual worth. It is our strong belief that social and emotional teaching is the key to having our students thrive here at our school. Our teachers and staff use an array of tools to partner with students and their families to ensure that safety, love, and empathy are at the forefront of all of our actions. We hope you enjoy our presentation. Many thanks to all of our students and staff that participated in putting this together. Hi, I'm Lily, and I'm a sixth grade student. And I'm Mason, also a sixth grader at Discovery. According to the U.S. Department of Commerce, STEM occupations are growing at a rate of 17%, while other occupations are growing at a rate of 9.8. Science, technology, engineering, and mathematic workers play a huge role in the continuous growth and balance of our U.S. economy. Hello, this is Samuel, and this is my Root Boulder project. It consists of 15 steps, and I'll briefly explain them. I put the ball here, and it'll go down the bridge, and hit the yenga, and then hit the ball, and it'll go down the inclined plane, Bounce off the yenga, hit the box, which will hit the ball, which acts as a lever. And then we'll hit the ball, and go down, and hit the water bottle, which acts as a pulley. And we'll go down and lift the water bottle so it spills water into the cup. In our experience, fine arts courses boost students' critical thinking and teaches students to take the time to be more thorough in observing the world. Such instruction supports students' development of motor skills, language skills, social skills, decision-making, risk-taking, and inventiveness. In a report by Americans for the Arts, it states that young people who participate regularly in the arts are four times more likely to be recognized for academic achievement, to participate in a math and science fair, or to win an award for writing an essay or poem than children who do not participate in art programs. STEAM education at Discovery creates critical thinkers, increases science literacy, and empowers us. Whether we're in the classroom or at home doing our distance learning, we're continuing our STEAM-focused opportunities through projects that teach us how to be innovative, creative, and exploratory. Discovery believes in providing students a plethora of opportunities to enrich their understanding of their surroundings. Because as our name states, we are Discovery, where children discover the world. We're the next generation of innovators. Enjoy! Hi, 
I'm Amy Markham, the gifted and talented facilitator and the engineering and robotics teacher. At Discovery Charter School, we couldn't agree more with the statement released by the National Science Foundation, which states, in the 21st century, scientific and technological innovations have become increasingly important as we face the benefits and challenges of both globalization and a knowledge-based economy. To succeed in the new information-based and highly technological society, students need to develop their capabilities in STEAM to levels much beyond what was considered acceptable in the past. I am doing, I am teaching a robot how to do L's and squares and Very rectangles. good, you are an excellent programmer. In order to compete in a global economy, STEAM education and careers must be a priority and at Discovery Charter School, they are. It's becoming more and more clear that most jobs of the future will require a better understanding of math, science, and technology. In our engineering class, we use problem-based learning alongside the engineering design process from every grade, kindergarten, all the way through eighth grade. And in our engineering lab, our learning prioritizes these aspects in our students' education. I'm Isabel Martinez, a fourth grade robotics class student leader. During the school day, students have the opportunity to test out their interests in engineering as well as programming through both drone and robotics venues. Discovery's robotics class taught me how to program and showed me I was interested in competing with our school's Lego robotics team. Students take these courses as a part of the weekly elementary fine arts rotations or as a part of the daily middle school electives. We use our understanding of innovation and engineering design stuff to guide us as we create new products, processes, or programs in our courses. We introduce science, technology, engineering, arts, and math to students through fun, exciting, experiential learning. I programmed my motors, which are little engines that move attachments to create a beach bot machine and programmed it to simulate a real beach cleanup. She made it through the beach without hitting any of the animals. Using FIRST LEGO League's model, students interact with real-world problem-solving situations, which enables today's students to best prepare as tomorrow's leaders. Our classes offered at Discovery encourage students to experiment and grow their critical thinking, coding, and design skills through hands-on learning. after-school program opportunities. Each quarter, we feature different clubs and teams for students to pursue their interests and develop new skills. These include drone clubs, robotics teams, gate clubs, and Odyssey of the Mind teams. In order to compete in a global economy, STEAM education and careers must be a priority, and they are at Discovery Charter School. Hi, my name is Iris Chamberlain, and I am the director and choreographer for Drama Club. Each year, we put on a Broadway Junior musical. This year, we did Seussical Junior. Our drama productions give students a real theater experience. Students go through a professional audition in the fall, which includes reading lines from a script, singing a prepared song, learning a piece of music on the spot, and learning a dance and performing it. We rehearsed for five months, to put on six performances for Discovery's students, staff, and community. One of the best aspects of the drama production is that it gives students the opportunity to identify their unique talents. Learning to utilize these talents in collaboration with others is a life skill that will benefit them as they enter the workforce. Students learn to take direction, see the importance of hard work, present themselves in front of large audiences, and rely on each other to produce something bigger than themselves. For students who have interests other than performing, there are opportunities for set design and prop construction, as well as running lighting and sound cues. Every aspect of the show is run by students. 
I love being a part of Drama Club because it changes students. It gives them confidence. It provides a creative outlet. It proves to students that they can accomplish great things. It allows them to see their potential and gives them a place where they can belong. My name is Paula Mack and I am the physical education teacher at Discovery Charter School. While teaching physical education, I focus on teaching physical skills through fun and engaging activities. I also challenge students to take control of their own fitness journeys. It's important to stay physically active because it helps you focus, get stronger, and be healthy. This has been especially important as we have transitioned into distance learning. While at home, students have been challenged to try new things, create their own activities, and discover new favorites. Here is what some of our dragons have been doing at home. Hi, it's me, Natasha. One of my favorite activities that I like to do is to play basketball. So my goal for the end of the school year is to be able to do 10 of these consecutively. So one, two, three, four. I can only do about four right now. Hi, Miss Mack. Um, this is Jasmine and my love a challenge. I know you do not have a rope, but if you have a swing, that works too. You just have to climb um, up the swing and you can't touch the swing part, and, but you can't touch the ground either because that's lava. I think doing PE at home is fun because I get to climb trees outside. Basketball is a cardiovascular sport that keeps you moving and your heart rate up. For me, basketball is a healthy and fun sport. Score to beat is nine. Hi, my name is Alicia Donovan and I'm the art teacher at Discovery Charter School. As a STEAM school, we believe that the arts are a vital part of our students' education. Why is art important, especially in schools? Well, it's a question among a lot of people artists and non-artists like. New Brain Research shows that not only do the arts improve skills in math and reading, but they also provide an emotional outlet, promote creativity, social development, self-worth, and critical thinking skills. You can appreciate colors, perspective, ambient lighting, or regular lighting, or shading, just all cool to see, you know? So you can engage with something, you can do whatever you want. You don't have to do one thing they're just making you do. I think it's just really, really good, you know? 
Discovery's visual arts program covers all four disciplines of art, art history, art criticism, art production, and art aesthetics. The production part of the lesson incorporates many styles of art and different media, including printmaking, mosaics, painting, wire and clay sculpture, weaving, and charcoal drawings. It's really, it's actually really fun if you get some, some supplies, if you do digitally do different mediums. I think it's just super fun. All of the lessons are aligned with the California Visual Arts Standards for each grade level. In addition to meeting these standards, I've designed my fine arts curriculum so that it is differentiated amongst the grade levels based on what the students are learning in their classrooms. Hi, my favorite part about art class was when Ms. Donovan had us combine art with ocean conservation. I also align my lessons with the Next Generation Science Standards to extend student learning beyond their classrooms and develop science concepts further through the visual arts. We use a reusable tote bag to show how important it is to recycle and reuse. An example of this would be taking the content first graders have learned about outer space and creating an oil pastel piece depicting different types of nebula and galaxies. I drew Spongebob surrounded by a toxic environment due to the effects of the pollution. And this is what my tote bag looks like. Many projects have a strong common core math tie-in such as teaching fourth graders to use geometry, angles, and radial symmetry to produce a stained glass window print. Here at Discovery, students take a lot of pride and ownership in their artwork. Here's Miguel. I'm in fifth grade. I'm 10 years old and I love art. I love ninjas. I put um, rain because that was the day that I found out that I had a half-sister. And that's it. They are always given margin for creative freedom and encouraged to take risks and experiment. You know, get out your pencil, get out your paper. You know, draw a circle, draw a stick figure, and then work your way up from there. Practice, you can get better. I'm a 13-year-old who draws anime, trust me. You can, you can get good. I provide additional after-school activities and clubs to further develop students' artistic skills and allow them to pursue their interests and passions in the visual arts. Leadership opportunities are offered in the visual arts for middle schoolers to help facilitate after-school art clubs for younger students. These students learn valuable skills in teaching, communicating, accountability, and problem solving with their peers. They also take part in designing murals and larger scale school-wide collaborative projects. Here at Discovery, we have seen firsthand just how much our students have benefited from a quality art program. You know, try it out. It'll be fun, trust me. Art is a universal language that allows our students to build connections with one another, foster cultural awareness, and interpret the diverse world around them. So that's why I think art is important, especially for schools. I'm Krista Valenci and I am proud to be the music teacher at Discovery Charter School, where all students in kindergarten through eighth grade receive music education. Our curriculum is based on the National Core Arts Standards, which call for students to create, perform, respond, and connect to music. Discovery students receive a well-balanced music education, including musical literacy and ear training, music history and appreciation, composition, improvisation, and performance. According to the NAM Foundation, students who receive music education have stronger listening skills and greater gains in auditory and motor functions than those who do not. Researchers also found that students who regularly attend and participate in music classes have increased neuroplasticity, which has a lifelong effect on neural function and learning. Hi, my name is Victoria Hernandez and I am a fourth grade student at Discovery Charter Elementary. Music education has also been tied to improvements in reading and speech development. I think music education is important because it helps me develop new skills and use other more creative parts of my brain. Perhaps even more important than the academic effects of music are the socio-emotional benefits that our students are receiving through music education.
With a focus on restorative practices and community building, the music classroom is a safe space where each child is a valued member of an ensemble. We have two choirs at Discovery. Voices of Discovery is our third through fifth grade choir, and Dragon Harmony includes students from sixth through eighth grade. Last December, we went caroling at the Village Walk in Eastlake. It was a fun experience because we got to sing in front of a crowd and we got to watch the nightly snowfall. Our before and after school choirs give students extra opportunities to refine their musical literacy skills, practice ear training, perform for others, and develop strong bonds with others in their singing community. As we wrap up our STEAM Fair, please enjoy this virtual performance by Dragon Harmony. I'll stay. 